Congratulations, mate. Named in that squad. When's the actual team going to be named? Uh, I think the actual team uh, might be named tomorrow, maybe. I've, I've, I actually have no clue, to be honest. Okay, all right. So we've got 19 there. You played all over the shop. You played centre against Lebanon, fullback against uh, Jamaica in the 18th man versus Ireland. Um, what's your favourite position? Where do you want to start for the Kiwis? Yeah, it's, it's sort of a funny one, you know, to be in this position playing for your country. You're sort of just happy to be thrown in where the, where the match would want to throw you. So uh, I don't really have a preference at this stage. And, you know, for me, especially off the year that I've had, it's, it's uh, it's quite an opportunity to be in the position that I'm in at the moment. You've had a good year, mate. Do you feel like you have? Yeah, no, I do feel like I, I had a good year. It was just, um, I guess, just that big injury mid, mid this yep, year and, yep. you know, not getting another opportunity at NRL. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm just counting my blessings uh, that I'm able to be in this team and be around, you know, superstars like my roommate. Look, I... <laughs> I'll ask about that in a second. But look, no, what I meant by that is when, you, when you've been playing, you've been playing bloody well, which is why the Warriors have got you back. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, it's something that, you know, come to fruition. And me and my partner, my wife, is really excited to head home and, um, you know, see what we can do back there. Have you spoken with Andrew Webster at all? Yeah, we've sort of um, touched base here and there and um, probably be in contact as well throughout the next month or so before I get back to training. But I've heard nothing but good things about him heading into into the Warriors camp and I'm really excited to, to be working alongside him again. Okay, so what, three or four weeks now up in England, well, three matches anyway. I think you've been in camper three or four weeks, haven't we? So here we go. We play against Fiji. We know what happened in 2017, so we certainly can't take them for granted at all. No, no way. You can't take Fiji for granted. They're, you know, they're in this position for a reason, and they've had a really good crack at the uh, Rugby League World Cup campaign so far. So it's, it's really about focusing about what we can control, and you know, we're, we're building into this composition nicely, and we sort of want to start putting uh, our best games together uh, come this weekend against Fiji. Look, I know that goal kicks are crucial, mate. We've had a, a couple of shockers haven't we, in some of those matches. Who's going to be taking those? <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to have to put my hand up Go uh, on. for this game. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'll probably be the 18th uh, choice kicker, to be honest. It's, um, yeah, I guess it's just the uh, conditions over here is a little bit different to back home. It's been quite windy and all of that stuff, so it makes the uh, kicking duties a lot harder for the kickers. But uh, those, you know, those two points will, will start to add up uh, in, in these important games. So I know that they're going to be wanting to kick a whole lot better. Yeah, Chance, it's been weird. When you got there, the grounds were really dry by the look of it when we're watching here from the TV. But now, of course, you're getting into that really autumnal, I suppose, winter kind of weather. And you're playing in Hull, mate, where it can get really cold and wet. Obviously, you know that. Yeah, it's, it's, it has been a bit of a funny one. All the boys were sort of talking about the weather being the best that they've seen since they've been in England. And um, you know, how different it's been to every past experience. And I, I think today is sort of the first day that, you know, they, they remember England, um, how it's been. So it's starting to get a lot colder and, you know, the fields are starting to get a lot more uh, wetter. So it, it's sort of up to us about how we control the footy and, you know, making sure that we're finishing in, in the positions that we want to finish in. How exciting is this for you? It's a World Cup. It's a quarter final. You know the potential of what lies in front from here. You know the potential is to climb the mountain and win a world championship. To be called a world champion, that just must be the most enormous incentive. Yeah, that's the biggest um, incentive, Matty. It's sort of something that you know we're, get, we're we've been working towards for a very long time now, and these are fair few boys in this team that have you know, been on the on this journey since twenty eighteen. So, you know, we're not gonna be happy with anything less than a World Cup and you know, it's, it's you know, time to go to work this weekend against Fiji and you you can't look past them. Chance, when you sit there and you look at those big buffers in front of you, mate, that's a reasonable sized bunch of men, isn't it? They had a playing up front for us. <laughs> yeah, we we do have um, you know, the pick of the crop 
for us in our forward pack, and you know we've got a pretty good good side from one to seventeen or one to twenty four really. Um, and for us to be able to have you know boys like Jesse and even Mouse there, you got Joe Fish. We've got a lot of informed players, and you know it was, it's really hard for them to you know to be in that that position that they're in now. And I know that they they're grateful that they they be out there. So they get to go out and represent New Zealand as a nation. Yeah, what does it feel like for you when you pull that jersey on? What does it make you feel like, mate? It's it's such an, uh, a roller coaster of emotions, I guess, because you're you're a little bit nervous and you're really excited, and then you're really I I get really grateful for. Um, being able to put that jersey on it's you know for a lot of us we were kids watching the 2008 world cup and that's really where our dream started to want to be in this kiwi side so you know for us to be in that position and for us to have the opportunity to you know start making steps towards that 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 goal it's it's really important to us and you know it's been a long time coming for a lot of the boys and um i'm just so stoked that i get to represent not only myself and my family, but the people of New Zealand come Saturday against Fiji. So cool, because I mean, I'm obviously old enough to remember as, as well, but it's so cool that, you know, as a young man, that you get inspired by that, because now, you know, you're in that position where hopefully you might be able to do that for the next crop, yeah? Yeah, it's about, you know, making sure that we leave the jersey in a better place, and, you know, we're just caretakers of this jersey, so if we can inspire the next crop of generation um, young players coming through to want to be in this position one day, then, you know, we've sort of achieved what we've set out to achieve. And, um, you know, these, these such a good opportunity for us to do that this year, at this Rugby League World Cup. And like I said, we're not going to be happy with anything less than, uh, than that cup. All the very best this weekend. Play with pride, play with fire, play with heart, play with passion, play with all the things that I know you do. We're so looking forward to you playing for the Warriors as well. Can I just ask you finally, I just want to say, I just want to be able to pronounce this right. Chance, Nicole, Klukstad. It's, it's spelled K-L-O-K-S-T-A-D, but it's Klukstad. Is that Norwegian, that name? Yep, yep, it's Norwegian. So it's nickel, um, sort of like pickle, but nickel. Mm-hmm. And it's Klukstad, yeah. So that's, that's um, Norwegian. Um, I've got a fair few family there at the moment and uh, one day hopefully be able to go out there and, and meet them. Well, I mean, I hope they'll, hopefully they'll be up. They'll be watching as well, mate. That would be glorious. Wouldn't it? All the best of luck, mate. Play hard. Nah, cool, Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.